Now then, it's now the 11th of June, and after the sea scale thing, we're back to kind of relative normality. So, on with the bits and pieces. This is a genuine example of a United Confederate Veterans Kepi from about 1900. Um, now the United Confederate Veterans, also known as the UCV, was a veterans organization for former Confederate soldiers of the American Civil War and was the equivalent to the Grand Army of the Republic, which was the organization for the Union veterans. Now prior to the year 1889, Confederate veterans had no national organization similar to the Grand Army of the Republic. So the, the Union Army won the Civil War, so they had various veterans organizations, but the Confederates who lost didn't. Um, several separate fraternal and memorial groups existed on a local and regional level. Um, now, when they met in New Orleans, Louisiana, in 1889, several of these groups united together and formed the Anti-Confederate Veterans Association. The organization was founded to serve as a benevolent association, historical, social and literary, literary association. Now the UCV was active well into the 1940s and its final reunion was held in Norfolk, Virginia in 1951. Now the primary functions of the organization were to provide for widows and orphans of former Confederate soldiers, preserve relics and me mementos, care for disabled former soldiers, and preserve a record of service of its members. Now at its height, membership in the organization was about 160,000 former Confederate soldiers, and it was organized into 1,885 local camps or groups. Um, the UCV organized many local and national reunions of Confederate veterans. Some of the national reunions attracted thousands of former veterans. Um, both the UCV and the GAR produced medals, ribbons and other associated memorabilia to commemorate reunions and gatherings and genuine items from the, these veterans associations are much sought after. Um, now this kepi believe it or not, turned up in the UK. I bought it on eBay in June 2010 from a guy in Aylesbury. He had it listed as an early replica reenactor's kepi. What we're going to do, we're going to take a look at it. And if we look at it from the top, we have a brass cross cannons badge. The small pins on the back have broken and as you can see it's been sewn on. But if we look down well probably can't see where it's actually pinned on but it is pinned on it's got this nice butternut cloth which is holed in places it's got this red felt with the numbers six five held on by pins now that could be one of the uh, the camps there was, there was 1885 local camps so that could be camp number 65 but I don't know so if you know, just just leave a message. Um, it's got the leather peak, leather chin strap. It's got the buttons. Now the guy had the buttons listed as, um, what do you have them listed as? CCV buttons. But they aren't what they are. I can't get a good enough picture what they are. They're a flying Confederate flag. And what the guy thought was CCV it actually says UCV around it and 1861-65 and it's got wear and tear to it but it is a nice bit of a hole there but it is a nice genuine example of a United Confederate Veterans Kepi um, as we can see he's well, it's not named to anybody, but that, that's that's quite a rare thing to turn up in the UK. Um, you very rarely get 
genuine items from the organization I mean in America it's probably no big deal they probably turn up all the time in America but to find one of these in the UK and a genuine example is very very rare as you can see it's in it's in the traditional kepi style and a sort of butternut grey cloth with his red felt the guy was obviously in the artillery because red and the cross cannons signify the artillery so there we are it's surprising what you can find on ebay and that came through the post today and the price paid was 40 english pounds maybe about 80 dollars us so that's quite a nice thing so if you know about it especially what the 65 means leave a message really nice piece of kit and 100% genuine for a change